guys don't have any air, like chuck, nozzle, or whatever, just use this and you could fill up a tire. What is going on, guys? All right, so I know I recorded a little bit. I don't know if I'm starting the vlog right here. I don't know, but I hope you guys are doing good. We're back at the shop, and if you guys notice, it should look way cleaner in here. As we mentioned, uh, a couple of the guys moved out. One of the new guys, Julio, has Evos in here. I know I showed it a couple times, but look how good it looks in here with the LS430 and the Evo. And Jesse getting down. What, what's going on? What's going on with the Evo? So he was rolling into a show and his exhaust pipe is like, his exhaust pipe is like right on his drive shaft. Like they're like inch, like centimeters apart. And he hit this bump and it knocked it together and it bashed in his O2 sensor. So from wait, that wait, being- how, how? Okay, uh -huh. That happened and um, he went to go replace the O2 sensor and the car still doesn't turn on. Uh, for whatever reason, he feels like his ECU is bricked, but I think that it could be a fuse or something. So I'm gonna go through and check all the fuses real quick before he goes and uh, tries to get a new ECU. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. But it doesn't turn on right now? At all, like you can try turning it, turning it and everything. We tried jumping it, nothing would work. So I'm gonna go through and check all the fuses and hopefully that's the problem. Can you imagine being sucked off the way that I'm gonna be sucked? The batteries dead. Of course. Why does every car here have a fucking dead battery? To be honest with you, I have no idea. Your mine, mine just died and it was a good battery too. Yeah, so was mine. It's, it's the electromagnetic field that we have here. From the point there, from the point there, and from point there, and from the point right here. Wait, wait, bro, you got finesse. You should just take this motor and put it in this one. All right, so Jesse found this uh, fuse and it's blown. And it says something to do with the engine, right? Yeah, it has something to do with the trick engine. So hopefully this is it. Hopefully when he uh, fucked up his O2, hopefully it blew out this fuse somehow. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully it turns on. Our battery is super drained. I've been there before. So, gonna let it charge for a little bit. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. No, what happened? You don't listen to me, that's why. Huh? It's the Evos. Think about it. Honestly, bro, if we both got Evos, I'd probably be the happiest man in the world. Alright guys, so if you remember, if you guys remember the Civic, well, this is the Optima battery, or the Odyssey, my bad. This is the Odyssey battery that I had in there. Uh, at one point, the Civic sat for like six months, and the battery still turned on. It still kept its juice. Now it's been probably close to a year. It's just been sitting, so we're gonna see if it still has some juice in it. We'll see if uh, Odyssey batteries are worth the hype, but I don't know. I kind of have faith, but it's also been kind of a while, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, just for now, because this battery's toast, I had this one laying around, so hopefully if I can just turn on the car so I can move it around, that'll be cool. But uh, let's see if these batteries are the shit. All right, so I actually heard my CD player change right now or turn on, whatever it was. It turned on, though. So that's crazy. We know that there's some juice on here. Is it enough to turn on the car? Let's see. I'm I'm having faith. These little Odyssey batteries, man. And also they look so tiny, but they're pretty heavy. So I don't know. We'll see if see if we'll see how badass they are. We'll see how badass they are. The biggest test is if my cabin light comes on when I open the door. 
And if that turns on, then we're good. Oh my god. So, those batteries cannot be that good. That's fucking. Yeah. That's insane. <sighs> Holy shit. Odyssey batteries are the fucking shit. Come on. Final test. Final test. Oh my god. That's insane. I forget it. I had this battery sit in this car for not even a full week and it got drained. Maybe something was draining. I think it might have been the fucking the sub. But still, still this battery was just sitting on the floor in my garage for close to a year and then like half a year before that Civic has been parted out for you guys know how long so yeah the battery's just been chilling but that's fucking sick very nice just look at the size difference <laughs> yeah it's for sure gonna be moving around in there but just for now but we pulled up the beamer jacked up right now and we actually saw something dangling from underneath and I always saw like a sensor dangling from underneath. I assumed it was like my O2 or something. But this was like completely like dragging on the floor before. I saw it just like kind of hanging a little bit low. Um, but I think it just finally just probably scraped against the ground. We got all these exposed wires. I'm not really sure what this uh, connection's for. I don't know if it's a sensor or what. But if any of you guys know or have replaced this on your E36, let me know. Yeah, it's kind of dangling from like the middle, kind of next to the shifter, like around in that area. But yeah, I don't know, I'm actually look it up, see what this is for. My check engine light did come on, so this might be a possible culprit. But yeah, just another thing we gotta add to the list. Start to fix my power steering. We're gonna have to take a look at that, see if it's my hoses or what. Yeah, because I definitely have a leak, and now we're gonna have to figure out this. So yeah, just '90s BMW ownership things, you know. But hey, my AC blows and it turns on, which is important, right? I guess I guess I could deal with the little things and this fat ass day on my quarter panel. Whatever. My right, boy Julio pulled up. Yes sir, we outside. How's work? How's work? It was cool, tiring, but we outside. And now we clocked in again at the shop. Right? Fuck another day. If you guys notice over here we got the Lexus, but uh, if you guys have noticed the wheels that are on here, if you guys know your, your wheels. You guys know uh, what are these called? They're called, uh, well, these are just regular wire, wire wheels. They're like Dayton's. Uh, they're obviously knockoffs. Oh, no, 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 they're real, they're real, they're real. Ah, not like knockoff like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're knockoffs. Yeah. Alibaba or what? Yeah, Alibaba. Here's the other two. I only got two tires for those because there were some throwaway tires and they're not the greatest. So yeah, uh, these are gonna be my new setup for now while I get the Supra's Chrome. And uh, if you guys want them, they're sale. They're for sale. They're for sale. What, what some people consider this sacrilegious? Yeah, I've already gotten a couple hate comments from the purest Lexus guys, but <laughs> the purest. <laughs> yeah, they already hit my car. The pure. They hit my gas tank. They talk a lot of crap on my car, but I mean, like, what can I do? It's not my. It's not their decision. Honestly, I think it looks really, really good. Thank you. Uh, he wants to put a little bit thicker spacer up front, you know, just to get that yeah. thin a little flusher, but still, it looks pretty damn good, whether people hate it or love it, I think it looks good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, it's back in the shop now because I want to I wanna fix this headlight, it Forrest Whitaker itself. <laughs> it did what? <laughs> it did a little Forrest Whitaker, you know Forrest Whitaker, you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he got a little lazy eye to him, so I'm going to fix that. Um, I want to add, I got a 25 mil spacer on here just to clear the brake kit or the big brakes. I want to go ahead and make it probably a 35 and just kind of clear up this little gap because like this is not going to cut it. That should look nasty. But I mean the rears are good. Yeah, I'll right. probably take out a little bit of camber. I got to adjust the caster a little bit because it's just hitting on the side. Other than that, golden. Sheesh. Looks really good in the shot by the way. Thank and my boy has cleaned up the shop. It just look, it looks it looks good in here. <laughs> yeah, got a little bit more space in here. We're trying to make this nice and clean for the next chapter of the shop, and make sure it's uh keep it clean. Yeah. So my car is gonna be in here next to it soon, but first we just gotta admire this shot. Looks really good in here. Just you know the lights, nice clean shot. But just, but yeah. Comment down below what you guys think. 
My boy put low rider wheels on his Lexus LS430. Yeah, true knockoffs. Uh, like I gotta get a letter. Ramps. <laughs> I gotta get ramps. Hey, go flame this guy in the comments, bro. Say like, ramps, 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 ramps right now. <laughs> I almost ate it. Is this? No. Is this? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go. Bro, there's a shit to country ass. What's up, bro? What's up, this country ass? How you doing, bro? Chilling, bro. Sweaty shit. as fuck. Shit. My boy, fresh. Still my boy, fresh. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. How was the drive? How was the drive in here? Bustling, bro. Alignment, chilling now. I go like 90 easily. Damn. Maybe 100, maybe 100. No, maybe. Oh, I see. That, Cause the, you're more air than yeah, 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 yeah. That shit fast as fuck, boy. I'm gay as fuck, boy. I see. That's why you're able to hit a higher top speed yeah, because yeah. Uh, you're just splitting the it's air. coming up a little. That's how fast I was going. That shit coming <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's gonna be a tighter squeeze. Nah, that's, that's actually not. Thing. Yeah, not that bad. <laughs> you probably would have more space to back it in. Coca-Cola. My boy getting twisted over here. Twisted thing, fool. <laughs> See, man, we got a full shop. Sick cars. Probably, probably the three sickest cars I've ever been in here at the same time. We got the Evo. LS and the Cross Tour, which is uh, the Cross Tour's second time now. Second time. Oh, they probably seen this shit in a minute, bro. But for, yeah, for real. It's a little, it's a little yeah. fucked up right now, but. It's, it's still looking good at the same time. Performing a certain, <laughs> you know how to Hey, get the, get the 10, this, 10 feet away I distance got pictures. You got you there. Oh, yeah. No, no, no more, more. No, okay. <laughs> oh, outside, outside. <laughs> 